Envy or jealousy is a destructive emotion that can harm relationships and disrupt personal peace. In Buddhism, envy is seen as a form of suffering and a hindrance to achieving true enlightenment. Recognizing the signs of envy in others and knowing how to address them with compassion and mindfulness is crucial. One of the most evident signs of envy is constant criticism. If someone frequently finds faults in what you do or say, it might stem from their insecurities and desire to undermine your confidence. This criticism can be subtle, like backhanded compliments or more direct, pointing out minor flaws to make your achievements seem less significant. When faced with constant criticism, respond with kindness and understanding rather than defensiveness. Right speech, one of the steps in the Noble Eightfold Path, emphasizes speaking truthfully and beneficially. By remaining calm and positive, you can diffuse negative situations and encourage more constructive conversations. Envy can manifest as passive-aggressive behavior. This includes making sarcastic comments, giving you the silent treatment, or engaging in behavior that indirectly expresses their negative feelings towards you. These actions are usually subtle but persistent, creating an uncomfortable environment. In the face of passive-aggressive behavior, it's essential to maintain equanimity, an evenness of mind that remains undisturbed by external circumstances. This inner balance helps you respond to negativity without anger or resentment. Through mindfulness practices such as meditation, you can cultivate equanimity. Another sign of envy is when someone tries to downplay your successes. They might attribute your achievements to luck or external factors or even suggest that you don't deserve them. This is an attempt to reduce your sense of accomplishment and make themselves feel better by comparison. When others try to diminish your accomplishments, counter this by practicing mudita or sympathetic joy, the joy in others' successes. Publicly acknowledge and celebrate the achievements of those around you, setting a positive example. Envious individuals often feel the need to compete with you, even when no competition exists. They may try to one-up you in conversations, mimic your actions, or go out of their way to prove they are better. This behavior stems from a desire to validate their worth by surpassing you. Dealing with subtle competition requires embracing non-attachment, another core Buddhist principle. Non-attachment involves letting go of the need to compare yourself to others. Focus on your personal growth and progress, independent of external validation. By not engaging in the competition, you demonstrate that self-worth comes from within, reducing the need for others to compete with you. Finally, someone who envies you may not express genuine happiness for your successes. They might offer lukewarm congratulations or seem disinterested when you share good news. This lack of enthusiasm is a clear indicator that they are struggling with feelings of envy. If someone shows a lack of genuine happiness for your successes, respond with metta or loving kindness. Engage in metta meditation, where you send thoughts of love and kindness to yourself and others, including those who envy you. By fostering a sense of connectedness and empathy, you can soften their feelings of envy and transform your relationship with them. You might visualize the envious person and silently repeat phrases like, may you be happy. May you be peaceful. May you be free from suffering. Dealing with envy in others is challenging, but by applying Buddhist principles, you can transform negative interactions into opportunities for growth and understanding. Through right speech, equanimity, mudita, non-attachment, and metta, you can foster an environment of mutual respect and genuine happiness for each other's successes. Instead of eliminating envious individuals from your life, Strive to cultivate compassion and empathy, helping them overcome their negative feelings.